Hey, we put Junior here with a quick video to share our thoughts about the new trailer that just dropped at the Union Cross Dandelion event in California. Now, it was a short one minute trailer, but a few new things were revealed regardless. So, first, the start of the trailer has Sora, Donald, and Goofy in Twilight Town with updated models for Hayner, Pence, and Alette. This is cool because this is the first time we've seen them with next gen models and the first confirmation that they show up again in some capacity. And two, the focal point of the trailer is on the available minigames that we'll be playing and raging at in this Kingdom Hearts. To everyone's surprise, at least to ours, this appears to be a collection of Game & Watch style games, with the old school Disney cartoon style rampant in all of them to reflect the era. Now this was completely unexpected to me, because I remember playing those games back in the day on my Game Boy, I had always assumed in the back of my head that Game & Watch was a Nintendo-only thing, so to see it on a Sony Xbox One game was a bit jarring. Nevertheless, the style is charming and a welcome experimental departure from the Winnie the Pooh games that have been in each title so far. Not to say they won't be back in Kingdom Hearts 3 in some capacity. I feel like they're doing this to really push as many different styles as possible for the characters, as they were very keen on highlighting the Kingdom Shader technology, mentioned back in the very early days of Kingdom Hearts 3's development. This might be an extension of this idea even if the Kingdom Shader tech has been dropped. So what are your thoughts on this? We'd love to hear it, along with a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Weeb Hut out.